Hi there. Stay safe. It's apple crumble and custard pudding today. If you have extra milk and apples, you'll be able to make it just like me. I made a crumble topping, apple filling and custard, then combined them all into a divine dessert. Eggless, not too sweet. My family loved it. Are you a new visitor? Then do subscribe and click the bell icon. For the crumble topping, 1 cup or 125 grams of all-purpose flour, 3 tablespoons or 25 grams of oats, 75 grams of sugar and brown sugar mixed together, half and half, 75 grams of butter cut into cubes, add in the sugar, the oats, I'm adding 1 4 teaspoon of cinnamon powder. This is optional. Mix it all together. Add in the butter. Mix it thoroughly with this flour mixture. Use a fork or the tips of your fingers or a pastry cutter if you have one if you don't have brown sugar then just go ahead and use the regular sugar that's almost done That looks nice and crumbly, just perfect. I'm using a tray to bake the crumble. So I'll just pour it all out onto the tray. Spread it out slightly. That's ready to go into the oven. That goes in at 175 degrees for about 20 minutes. The crumble topping is out of the oven. It smells lovely. Oh, the whole house smells of it. I'll just let it cool down completely. I have three apples that I'm going to peel and chop up. You may cut them any size you like. Toss them in a bowl, some lemon juice on top, mix well, get on with the rest. The lemon juice prevents the apples from browning and that's done, time to cook it. I've put a pan on the heat and I'll just add in the apple pieces. I tasted the apples, they were quite sweet actually. Time to add in the sugar. I am adding in brown sugar, you could use the regular sugar. I will add in 2 tablespoons of brown sugar. Mix it up. Sprinkle some water. Cover and let it cook for 3 minutes on medium heat. Let's check on it. Have you subscribed to my channel already? The sugar has melted and it's coating the apples. I'll give it two more minutes. That looks nice. Lower the heat and I'll just add in some lemon zest. If you like the recipe, do share it with your friends and post your feedback in the comment section. Give it a mix. I'll add in a tablespoon of strawberry preserve. You could add in a mixed fruit jam or strawberry jam or marmalade. Just to finish it up. Mix it well. And that's done. Let it cool down to room temperature. My eggless custard that I made with milk, sugar and custard powder. Click the link above for the detailed recipe. 
I have covered it with cling film on top so that it touches the surface and let it chill in the fridge. So I have the custard which is chilled, the apple and the crumble topping are at room temperature ready to assemble. I have some dried blueberry and dried cranberries that I use for garnish. You could use kishmish or raisins if you have. I am using a dish to serve the dessert in. Custard. A layer of it. Spread it out slightly. Bits of apple on top. Some crumble. A few cranberries for the garnish. A sprig of mint never hurts. Serve it chilled and enjoy.